personal highlight, I guess, was the field trips. I think we did five or six of them throughout the year. They were fantastic. We had a field trip together even before our class started. I'd say the whole group was, is, was very adventurous. So the field trips were a lot of fun because everybody loved to be out getting their hands dirty. It was not only uh, academically engaging what we are doing in the field trip, but it's also fun. Getting to know everyone and really introducing all the concepts of the course and thinking about how new it all seemed then, but how relevant it all still seems now. I think the one which I really enjoyed the most was going to Brussels and to see to see the European Parliament because that's something that you know you hear about in the news but you don't actually get to see and you don't see the intricacies of how the place works. Um, I remember we went to a, a centre of alternative technology in Wales and we learned how to live with only renewable energy and it is, it is so uh, like um, eye-opening, I would say. I was worried as a natural-born Brit that having been to these places before, perhaps I, I wouldn't learn anything on these field trips, but actually I found with uh, such a diverse uh, cohort of students, actually I was encouraged to see these problems through the eyes of uh, people from completely different cultures from my own. Our experience of the environment and the problems that the environment has um, are all quite different. So it's kind of novel to learn all about um, you know, the English floods that have been happening over the last few years, which we obviously have floods in Australia um, and it goes in cycles of droughts and floods. Um, but in my mind, when I think of environmental problems, I don't think too much water, I think not enough. We had over 18 countries represented and people from all types of backgrounds and all amounts of professional experience where, you know, it, I learned huge amounts from our professors and bouncing our professors off against each other, but where I really learned and where I really found the huge amount of value was in having a cohort like we had, digesting this information from so many different perspectives and then kind of working out amongst ourselves where we stood on these different issues. Obviously that adds to the, to the learning, that adds to, to the value I think of, of being in this type of environment where you can critique each other's opinions, learn from each other but also being open to shifting your viewpoint. Um, yeah, so for me it's been, it's been really good. Really that encouraged me to think about some of these issues in completely different ways which is yeah, it was a particular highlight. For me, I think the most revelatory piece of the course was definitely getting a chance to really dive into the natural science and understand you know, the basis of the atmospheric physics, the ecosystem science, underneath these issues that I understood from kind of a civil action perspective, but didn't really, you know, I had sort of intuitions about the reality of what was happening underneath, but didn't understand it enough to, to be able to speak eloquently about it and really understand, you know, be able to tell someone, this is what's motivating my action. It's not just, this, this moral belief that we need to treat you know, the environment sustainably, but also the, the factual basis for knowing what that really means when you turn that into reality. Right from the get-go, it's memorable.